Hey guys, thanks so much for coming in for another video. This is my latest in eBay sales. I uh, recently, I think a couple of days ago, sold these shot glasses. I actually hauled these, I believe, uh, probably about six months ago, and I think I paid a dollar for them. And someone had mentioned to me that they were selling for quite a bit of money on, on I think they saw them on, on Etsy. And uh, they're very heavy, very pretty. I actually had bought three and I remember lamenting that I wish I had gotten four because I think they sell better when they're, you know, like a complete set that way. But um, I still went ahead and sold them for 10 plus $12.40 shipping. Now, normally I don't charge shipping, but I had these, I believe I had them for 20 and I took a best offer. And then when I realized that there was actually shipping already charged sometimes ebay just calculates everything and whatnot so that was a really good deal there anyway here are the planners that i'm always talking to you about this is a vintage one i sold this for 44 dollars, actually 44.99 and i bought it for i think four dollars or 450 i recently hauled it not too long ago but it actually still had the price on it it was a lord and taylor exclusive it still had the price clearance price it had originally been about $39 and it was clearanced at $10 and I show the tag I really like to convey the the accuracy of the listing if I say it's vintage I want you to see that how vintage it is by just by the price so people kind of appreciate that I think and this was genuine leather mock croc super pretty still had the inserts I don't really know if people care about the inserts but I, I like to show that as well lots of pockets for credit cards and of course I list all of that on my listing list the size of the rings the size of the paper that's needed for the inserts as well and then whether or not those rings are gold or silver people are kind of picky about that as well and here is that clearance tag from um, from the original store which was Lord and Taylor so that was a really really pretty one it was um, I think it sold like within two weeks after I listed it on eBay it's a quick sell then I got $19 for this necklace that I picked up for a dollar or two at a thrift store this is one of those alpaca Mexican made uh, jewelry pieces you may run into those from time to time they look a little bit like silver but they don't quite polish up as nicely as silver so you can usually tell that it's not and it'll usually be, be it will usually be hallmarked alpaca and that's some kind of an alloy um, but it's very they're usually very fashionable this was kind of a red enamel bib style necklace and I have it there on a body form and then I have it up against a scarf I really like to use different color backgrounds I think it makes the the item itself pop and when I can and if I can I will use a live model for jewelry as well I used to do that a lot it really makes a difference because things look a lot bigger on a um on a form than they do on the human body or vice versa so you just have to be really careful with that all right then i saw these children's north face mittens these sold for 29 dollars free shipping and i picked them up for a dollar at uh at a thrift store i don't hesitate to pick up any kind of winter gear snowsuit or those big woolly sweaters or um, snow boots i always pick them up because i know they're out of place here in texas and um and i know i can sell them to someone up north who really needs them and of course they usually even at the thrift stores they realize they really are not going to get a premium price on them so they're always really cheap i don't think i've ever paid more than two or three dollars for a pair of mittens and again this was a north face brand and they were brand new so I got them last year, but I just listed them a few months ago, and they sold pretty quickly, too. I think I only ran them maybe two two times I relisted, and then they sold. Now I have to pull out those snowsuits because I do have some of those as well. All right, and okay, then, then I sold a mug. This is a Pillsbury Doughboy mug, and that sold for $24. That was free shipping on that, and that probably cost me about $6 to ship. So it was, a still, it was still a good profit, and this was actually made in the USA it's got a really nice hallmark on there and the mugs I'm sticking to selling or rather picking them up at less than two dollars because I have to sell them for at least 25 22 25 dollars or else the shipping will really eat my profit on those so I don't buy anything that's maybe three dollars if I think I can get 
forty dollars on it but the average price of these mugs has been fifty cents to a dollar some have even been a dime because i know a few places okay and now this is a stamp this was from my personal collection a rubber stamp sold for 14.99 free shipping on that and then um this is actually a, a pretty big stamp and it was marked most of these stamps have their marking like permanently written on the side uh rather their price like this one was originally 9.99 .99, but i always bought them on clearance hobby lobby will put them on clearance for two three four dollars and i think i bought this one for three dollars on clearance and that was a long time ago i was really into making cards and all kinds of paper crafts and um but this I had never used. I just bought it because it was on clearance and never used it. Of course, I like to show the back of the stamp so you can see that it's new. And um, the lady was very happy with it and said that it was bigger than she thought it was. And she was just ecstatic. Really. Okay, and then I sold this Harley Davidson snapback for $27.99. And it really was pretty brand new. It looked really new. So um, I think it was a good price on there. I got it for $1.99. At the Goodwill, you were with me at that ride along when I picked this up and I picked up a Starbucks snapback as well. And I think I paid $1.99 for one and $2.99 for the other. I forget which is which, but it wasn't very much. That was a really good profit on that snapback. And I do have it um, pictured here on a head form. I like to use head forms for my sunglasses and my hats. And this particular head form is actually a model for hairdressers. So it's got human hair on it and everything and it just sits, it makes the hat really look presentable. Okay, then I got a Juicy Couture t-shirt for, I sold it for $12 and free shipping on that, but I picked this up for 30 cents or so. You were with me on this ride along as well. This is the one that we did in Chicago and they had that special that Sunday for uh, three clothing items, a certain color, three clothing items for a dollar. So that was a really good deal. And I actually picked up a whole bunch of things that I thought my daughter might like or I thought I could sell. And she didn't really care for this one. So we threw it up on eBay and we threw it up on Poshmark as well. But it sold on eBay first. So that was a really good deal there. That pretty much paid for my entire shopping trip that day. And then, oh, some jewelry. I sold this for $23.99 and I picked this up probably for a dollar or two at a thrift store. And I say that because I don't remember because this is from my personal collection. I have a huge amount of brooches and I, I know I don't pay over three or four dollars. At the most, the average has been like a dollar. But um, this was a very nice one, copper oversized sunflower there. I did put it on a jacket because I thought it conveyed the oversized size of it. I really want people to see how it would look on the item that you may wear it with. I think that's really important. Sometimes a plain uh, white background just does not do it. So I do like to use denim. I like to use colorful scarves and things to really convey the beauty of the item, the aesthetic of the item. I also shared this on Pinterest and on Instagram. And I don't really know if those shares have done much but I really feel that my sales have been going up lately and I, I just don't think it hurts and I knew I, I get a lot of repins on my Pinterest and a lot of likes on the Instagram my shops are hashtagged and linked on there so I'm hoping that that is what's working because I think it looks pretty and I do like to share those pictures okay twenty dollars for this bag this is a Chanel um giveaway bag you know when you make a purchase they give you these little bags and this was a mini bag I've actually showed you these because I have about three of them and I have one that I use or did I sell it I think I sold the used one as well but these were brand new in a box so I sold this one for 20 and I think I've sold one on posh for 24 and I think I even had this one listed for 24 but I took a best offer on it and um, I mean anything with the word Chanel as long as it's genuine uh, it's going to sell. Well, the fakes sell too, but I don't sell fakes. But uh, anyway, very pretty little, uh, tiny little cosmetic bag. And I like to, again, use that measuring tape because people will ask, will my mascara fit in it? Well, I don't know what size your mascara is, but you know, that way they know. Oh, another planner, guys. This one sold for $35. This was a Frank Franklin Covey black leather. And the selling point on this, not only was it zip around, but it had the oversized rings. Those two inch rings are highly sought after for those 
people that are so organized. Oh, I wish I was. But um, yeah, the, and it's just, I mean, look how gorgeous that is. It's genuine leather, pockets everywhere. I also like to put the size of the paper so people will know because different companies call these sizes differently, everything from a Filofax to a day planner. They have different names for their sizes. So this way people know exactly what they're getting. That's really important. And people really do like these 90s planners. So um, I never hesitate to pick them up and I don't pay over a dollar or two for them. Usually I've gotten some as cheap as 50 cents and, and a quarter even. And here I am again measuring those huge rings with that ruler. And um, yeah, so I don't hesitate to um, to pick those up at the thrift stores, they're usually giving them away because people think that they're no longer popular. But there are some planner people out there that love them. Okay, a men's Hawaiian shirt. This was a 3X and I got $19 for this. I picked this up for a dollar at a garage sale. And I do have a few. I don't, like I said before, I don't really sell clothing that much. I don't source clothing that much. But if I'm at a garage sale and I see something for a dollar and I know that those large sizes sell I'm gonna pick it up and then there's the opposite side the extra small also sells especially in the women's extra small that is another size that's very hard to find and people really do look for it on eBay and the like so yeah that one is um, I don't it wasn't silk or anything I think it was a rayon but that I think that large size really helped really helped in, in making it a a good seller for me all right and then what was the last thing here oh this big bobble $24.99 for this what did I write big faux diamond ring large bobble it was huge it was so heavy I wish it would have fit me though but it's like a size 9 but it was so well made I think it was actually a uh, copper setting on there it was very well made and very heavy and I mean it looked like it was crystal or something it was just really pretty and I hadn't I, again this is just from collecting to to resell and to, and this one I actually bought to resell because it was so huge I could never wear it I knew it wasn't going to fit me but I just hadn't had a chance to put it in but as soon as I put it up I think within a week it had sold so and look how pretty that is i mean that thing was shiny really really nice all right so yeah that was the last of the sales for ebay i really want to thank you for coming in please come back again really soon i appreciate it have a great one bye